Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question from one of our viewers. They want to know how to implement Conv1D Transpose in Keras. While many of us are familiar with Conv2D Transpose for image processing, the need for 1D deconvolution arises in natural language processing. So how do we make this work in Keras? Let's break it down together. All right, guys, we're back with another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find your solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To implement Conv1D Transpose in Keras, we first need to understand its purpose. Conv1D Transpose is used for upsampling sequences, which is particularly useful in natural language processing tasks. Let's start by importing the necessary libraries. You'll need Keras and TensorFlow. Make sure you have them installed in your environment. Next, we will define our Conv1D transpose layer. You can specify parameters such as filters, kernel size, and strides. Here's an example configuration. Now let's create a simple model that includes the Conv1D transpose layer. We will use the sequential API for this purpose. Finally, compile the model and summarize it to check the architecture. This will help you ensure that the layer is correctly integrated. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In TensorFlow version 2.20, the Conv1D transpose layer is now available in the Keras API. You can easily implement it in your projects. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To implement Conv1D Transpose in Keras, you can reshape your input to add an extra dimension, perform the deconvolution, and then reshape it back. This method is practical and seems theoretically sound. I hope that video helped find the resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a great one. See ya.